Good morning. We received the good news this weekend that we'll be able to open our churches as from next week. So um, I'll say a little bit more later on in the week about that. Um, but it is good news indeed. It's a step in the right direction, certainly. Uh, I'd like to, to speak a little bit about this morning, about an issue that's been in, dominated the news for the past couple of weeks. And that is about uh, Black Lives Matter, uh, which has got quite an impetus since the, uh, the killing of George Floyd and all the protests that have happened since then. You might say, well, what does Father John know about Black Lives Matter? And that's a good question. And my response would have to be very little, really. Um, I've no experience of being a black person in the UK or in the USA or, or anywhere else. So, you know, I'm limited in what I'm able to say. But um, there are a couple of things that I would like to say and share with you. One of them is, is that as Catholics, our prayers go out to all those who have been victims of racial just injustice and prejudice and all their loved ones. I think um, that we were all appalled to probably see the images that came over our TV screens regarding the, uh, the killing of George Floyd. We'd have to be very hard-hearted not to be moved by what we saw there. Um, but so one thing I'd like to share is that the bedrock of Catholic social teaching is that human life is sacred, that each person is created in the image and likeness of God, and that each person has an inherent and immeasurable worth and dignity. Racial discrimination is an evil which undermines the worth of the person. And it's been good to see many within the Catholic Church publicly standing or sometimes kneeling in solidarity to those who are suffering. In the online edition of the tablet, there is a photograph of the Bishop of El Paso in Texas with priests of his um, diocese with him kneeling in prayer, in silent prayer. And they knelt and prayed for eight minutes and 46 seconds, the length of time that the police officer knelt on George Floyd's neck. And the bishop is holding a, a, a sign saying Black Lives Matter. Pope Francis said at his weekly Angelus prayer at the Vatican, my friends, we cannot tolerate or turn a blind eye to racism and exclusion in any form and yet claim to defend the sacredness of every human life. We as a church continue to promote the sanctity and dignity of every human life. It's one of our fundamental teachings to promote that sanctity and dignity from the very beginning of human life to its natural end and at every moment in between. It is important for us to be conscious of that and include it in our own examination of conscience to see if there's anything in our own lives or in our own structures within the church that says or does the opposite to that. For us Catholics, we are so blessed in the diversity of our communities, people of different races, nations and cultures worship alongside each other every Sunday, sometimes weekdays as well, not only gathering together, but sometimes actually celebrating that unity in diversity. Just yesterday, we celebrated the Feast of the Most Holy Trinity one God, three persons, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, one God. Unity in diversity. It's in that God in whom we have our origins. We are made in God's image, called into that communion 
with God and with each other. I have very happy memories in previous parishes of celebrating international masses where the prayers and the readings were offered in different languages as was the singing and of course there was plenty of dancing too not by me I hasten to add and they were great joyful and colourful celebrations with flags of the nations that represented the people of the congregations and the flags decorating the church it was a wonderful um, celebration followed usually by an international meal where people would bring the food prepare the food that they would normally eat in their own countries and we would sh share them with each other so it was a really cross cross cultural cross race um, type of celebration but these celebrations were not just a, a nice jolly they were that but they were also a celebration of who we are, equal in dignity before God, flourishing together in faith and in love. In the Roman Missal, there is a votive mass for the preservation of peace and justice. This was the mass I offered this morning in the church. And the opening prayer for the mass was this, and perhaps we can make it our own, O God, who shows a father's care for all, grant in your mercy that the members of the human race to whom you have given a single origin may form in peace a single family and always be united by a fraternal spirit. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. God bless you.